Hello, lovely people. We have more amplifier measuring. So one of my followers, he's a very, very cool and nice guy. He sent me, he's the one that sent me the Sanopo DSP and the Bluetooth uh, card from China and everything. And basically he has these three Alpine amplifiers and he sent them to me for testing. So this is a PDX F4, which is a four channel, the second generation. This is a PDX2150, which is a two channel, the first generation PDX amplifier. And this one, which is the V12 MRV T407. It is a two channel as well. And this one is mine because since I saw how good the four channel measures, I bought a two channel and I bought a monoblock as well. And I will be testing this. So I won't be making videos about these. Uh, just I wanted to share you because uh, we created a group called Distortion Factory. I'm going to leave that group uh, link in the description and you can visit that group and you will see all the measurements from all of these amplifiers. However, I will be making a video about this. So this is a recoil um, four channel AB class amplifier. So I did a review of the four channel class D amplifier and that one and this one costs kind of the same about a hundred dollars which is a super super cheap it is a class AB and this is going to be a very cool comparison because it's supposed to be doing four times 95 into four ohms 130 into two ohms and this is the thing how class AB compares to class D because it's going to be the same manufacturer uh, same kind of, I don't know, everything kind of the same is just different class, same price range as well, similar power ratings, but class AB versus class D. So this is going to be very, very interesting. However, these interesting as well, because I was doing this and from first glance, just I'm very quickly going to show you. So this is uh, the distortion of this one, which is the second generation. And we have, oh my God, which is the lowest point, 0 0.005, which is ridiculous. It's, it's measuring like a DSP. So yeah, I think we found the cleanest Alpine amplifier. I'm going to check this one as well. These not going to be as clean, that's for sure. The, and everybody knows that like PDX amplifiers are the cleanest of the Alpine amps, even if they're old. And the thing is, like, you can find them on Facebook Marketplace for, like, 100, 150 pounds, which is super cheap. I knew that the, I think the first generation had some uh, heat issues, maybe, or maybe just people were pushing them too hard. I don't know, but I will be measuring this. I'm going to put all the measurement results in the distortion factory in that group. So visit that group. You're going to find all the other measurements that I already did. And uh, just to answer your question, why I'm not doing the videos about all of these, it's just because they're not performing at all. Nobody's watching those videos. It's just not interesting. It's just interesting for just a few people. But yeah, so I did this just uh, to see if the Scarlet interface is going to be good enough. And yes, it's good enough but barely, because I have all the Adam stuff, all the good stuff to measure with. But the thing is like, I want consistency between measurements because if I'm gonna start swapping gear and everything, eh, I don't know, it's just want to be everything measured with one piece. So we know that all the results can be compared between each other. So yeah, I'm gonna continue measuring. I'm gonna, con I'm gonna do four ohms, two ohms, bridge, uh, maybe if they, I don't know if these can be bridged, maybe. And about this one, I'm going to do a full video because I think this one is going to be very interesting depending on how it's going to measure. So yeah, just a quick little update for you and I'm continuing measuring. Stay tuned for this. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one.